Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura and I want to thank you guys for being here and I just want you guys to know how much I truly appreciate each and every one of you. When I started this journey back in January, I had maybe about 100 subscribers and I never in my life would have believed that in less than a year, my subscribers are now up to like 930-ish people and it just, it's heartwarming to me, number one, to know that people out there are actually watching, following, and enjoying my crazy life, because it is, um, and number two, how many friends I've made, so I just want to say thanks, guys, thanks for being here, thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, and you want to subscribe, I usually never ask for subscribers, but I'm so close to that 1,000 mark, I'm like, let's see how long it takes me to get there, so I'm just throwing it out there. I usually never ask for subscribers, but I cannot believe how close. I never, again, never would have thought I would have seen a thousand subscribers. So this is just one of those days I looked this morning and saw I was at like 9.20, 9.30 something. I was like, wow, <laughs> I cannot believe it. So I just want to say thanks, guys. I know there's some that has been with me this entire year. Some has been with me from the beginning, way back when I opened my channel in 2019. So I'm just really from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you because I'm really touched that so many of you guys watch me and interact with me. So if you're new here, thanks for being here. This is my week 46 update on my intermittent fasting with OMAD one meal a day lifestyle. And not every week has been perfect. Absolutely not. It's a lot of ups and downs. We have this thing called life, as Prince would say, and we have to live it. And it is a roller coaster, as well as this week, I should say this past week, has been. Um, last week when I told you guys I was going to three different Thanksgiving parties, it ended up being more than that. It ended up being four. But the week actually started off with a twist of events and not great ones. Um, most of you guys that have followed me for a while know that I have a dear friend that I actually celebrated my 50th birthday with. We do a lot of things together. And she was out of the country this week shooting archery. And um, a friend went over to the house and found her mother had passed away right before Thanksgiving. So Wednesday, I got up, went to her house, got the dog, and took the dog to, the, to get her kenneled, um, make sure she was taken care of. And it's, it was started out just a really down, down week, you know, more bad news. A lot of people struggle during the holidays because of things like this, loved ones that have passed on in our past or people that are sick in our family now. So I know I touched on this last week, but it really hit home to me this week. Um, I was saying it last Monday and then I lived it this past Tuesday, Wednesday. So just want to say it again, say a prayer for each and every one of you and just hope that y'all are all doing well because we're not promised tomorrow, guys. I mean, life is short. Even if you live 80, 90, 100 years, in the grand scheme of things, life is short. So hug your family, hug your friends, tell everybody you love them because you never know what tomorrow may bring. But now that I've got that out of the way, I just wanted to let you guys know because I know some of y'all that have followed me know who I'm talking about and I'd just like you to say a little prayer for her and her family because it's it's a really difficult time right now. I, I, I saw her this morning and um, she's got a good front on that she's doing okay, but that's how we type A people do everything. We're okay. We're fine. We're good. We're fine. And then if you ever catch us at a weak moment, we're in the shower bawling our eyes out or on the floor, not being able to get up. So <laughs> just hug hug those that you think are always strong because... They may be appearing strong, but on the inside, they're not doing so well sometimes. So anyways, so back to last week, what happened? We ended up, Ariel and I got invited to um, a dear friend of mine, Gina's house. Her and her husband always throw the best parties, have the best food. So Thanksgiving day, we went to Gina's, ate a lot of food, hung out with the family, enjoyed ourselves, had a good time. Um, after that, Ariel's best friend, Josh, his parents invited us over for Thanksgiving dinner. So we had two Thanksgiving meals on Thursday. 
we have gone from not celebrating Thanksgiving, hardly ever do we actually do anything on holidays anymore, to this year having two meals on Thanksgiving Day. And then Friday, I have, I'm in a meetup group and I've been in a meetup group for about seven, eight years now. And they had a Friendsgiving on Friday. And so I went to that, haven't seen some of these guys in a long, long, long time. Had a great time there, enjoyed, had a little bit of wine, had some more food and desserts. Yeah, I know. I ate one meal that day, but it wasn't great. A great meal. It was a great meal. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Food was great. Everything tasted good, and Laura ate. So then Saturday comes around. We get up. We drive two hours to my nephew's house in Beaumont and enjoyed spending another Thanksgiving meal with that side of the family. That side of the family is my kid's dad's side. So it was my my ex-husband's family, but I'm still considered part of them, and I still go. I'm still Aunt Laura. They all accept me and love me, and so it's it just, again, family is family, and I don't care if I'm married to him or not. They're still my family. You know, I was part of that family since I was 14, so I love seeing them. I love hanging out with all the nieces, nephews, and now they've got kids, and it's like, wow, how Things have changed and how much the family has grown. So spent time with the in-law side of the family. And then I went over to my mom and dad's house and stayed there and visited with them a little bit. And we came home on Sunday. So I have had a busy, busy week. It was just nonstop. I had a whole week off from the school and literally I didn't stop. We got home yesterday and it just never ended. I had a few things I had to do yesterday. I finally got quietened down and laid down last night. And I thought, I didn't even have a day to rest. I didn't even have a day to recuperate. So I literally had to go back work, back to work today to rest. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to try to do tonight is go to bed early and get some rest. I'm exhausted. Anyways, it was a great week. For the most part, it was a great holiday week. Lots of food, lots of eating, lots of seeing friends and family, and just really, really enjoyed myself, and the scale showed it. So, last weekend I was with you guys. I had lost a few pounds, three-ish pounds or so. I was down to, I think, 177.6, and this morning when I got on the scale, I was 179.8. So now I'm back up 2.2 pounds, but it's to be expected. I really did expect this. I knew after eating so poorly all weekend long that this was what was going to happen. So it's not really a surprise to me, but it, it is what it is. Now, what does that mean for me? Well, after I got back home yesterday, I started planning things out. I'm, I'm a planner, guys. I like to have a plan in place. So I'm like, okay, we are really close to the end of the year. I don't want to see that scale just keep losing and gaining the same four or five pounds. You know, it's time to get busy again. So that's what I'm going to do. I am, yesterday I sort of did like a little bit of a down day, I guess, if you want to call it, call it that. Um, I, I did one meal, but it wasn't a big meal. Today, I'm going to fast some today because pretty much all day, I, I just feel like I need to detox from all the foods this past week. So I'm going to fast today and we're getting close to December 1st and I have some parties. I got a birthday party this weekend and my meetup group is going out to uh, the Festival of Lights um, at Moody Gardens in Galveston. So I know there's some things coming up. So I want to try to do some alternate day fasting through the month of December because that seemed like it really worked well for me. It got me on track. It got me in a routine. And then, of course, I love the not having to worry about cooking every single day because I'm only eating 15 meals out of the month, you know? So I think I'm going to do the month of December back to the alternate day fasting. And I've already looked at the calendar and decided when I'm going to get started so that on my birthday and my night out with the meetup group, it's eat days. So I won't feel guilty <laughs> going and enjoying time eating having fun with my friends and just get through the month of December and end the year on a positive note. That's all this is about. And even if I only lose five pounds between now and then, you know, it's still a positive note, guys, because I have done so well this year, not even expected to do this, but it just, it was super easy when I stick to it, when I'm consistent. 
and when I stay on track. This last month has not been that way. And the scale has reflected it now for oh, about six weeks. We're going up and down and up and down and up and down the same few pounds. So that's come to an end. We're done. I even, after I got off the bus this morning, I came home. I put my running clothes on and I went outside and I got a two mile run in. So that is going to get me back into a routine. I think everything has been thrown off over the last couple of weeks because with me starting a new job, you know, the hours were different than what I'd have ever done in a long time and I've got to get back into the groove of getting up at 4 30 in the morning and you know going to bed early because I'm can be a late I a night owl actually I can stay up really late so I've just got to get back in the groove of doing what I know works for me getting to bed early getting up going to work coming home getting my exercise in going back to work eating my one meal a day get back on track and get back into a routine. So that is what the next few weeks are gonna be for me, is trying to get into a routine because this is my first full week of work every day. You know, I started work, I worked three days and I was off a week, love that. And then of course I have two weeks off at Christmas, so that'll be nice too. But um, I'm just, I wanna find a routine that works for me and get back to some consistency because consistency is key. And I have a subscriber, Doug, who tells me that all the time, you know, consistent, consistent, be consistent. And I haven't been, and I know I've been playing and life has been full of ups and downs, but Laura hasn't been taking things seriously because I got to a point to where it's like, oh, I hit that 50 pound goal before, you know, my birthday and I made it to that first goal. And something I think looking back now must have clicked. It was like, oh, I got that 50 pounds down. I'm good. And I just sort of stopped stop pushing to the next goal. What was the next goal? That's where I failed because I didn't really set it. I knew in my mind I want to get to about 155, so that was the ultimate goal, but I didn't set a next small goal to accomplish because I was so focused on the 50 by 50. After I achieved it, I sort of just like, now, okay, what do I do now? You know, just floundering around or started eating, started going out, started socializing again way too much. And now, as we can see, that scale has not gotten below my lowest weight, and I am just sort of hanging at that 50-pound down mark. So, next thing is get in a routine, let's set another small goal, and let's achieve it by the end of the year. And then we'll start over and see where we're at the beginning of the year and set another small goal and keep chunking away and biting away at this 25 pounds I got left to go until I get to my goal. That is what I'm thinking right now. That is what I'm planning on doing and we'll see what happens. So right now it's just get the routine down because starting work is always stressful. I am still doing so many tests and so much studying. I did go last week and take my first, there's five different tests you have to take for to get your permit for your CDL. And I did take the first one last week and passed it last Wednesday. So now I've got to start studying for the next one. And I think I'm just going to do one at a time because like the next test is 150 questions and it's a 50 question test. So I need to know all 150 because you don't know which ones they're going to ask. So it's a lot of reading and studying and memorizing. So I'm busy right now. Really, really busy. Which brings me to, guys, I am so sorry that I have not been on top of my comments. Usually I try to comment back within 24 hours and literally that hasn't happened this week. So I'm gonna try to get back updated with everything and everybody. But this week is gonna be another transition for me to get settled in, get in routine and move forward. So I just wanted to touch base with you guys today, let you know what the update is. Yes, it's a holiday week and I'm up on that scale, but that's okay. No sweat here, regrouping, reorganizing and new small goal, new small goals. You know, even if it's five pounds, a small goal, got to set it, got to do it. So that's what the plan is this week. Every day, try to get some exercise in, try to get into a routine and try to get that scale moving back down and start, you know, staying consistent. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you all are doing wonderful. I hope the holiday was great for each and every one of you. And let's just push through and move forward. My friend Zelda this morning said, forward is forward. And I'm like, exactly. I like that. Let's move forward. Forward is forward. So I'm hanging on that today. 
forward, 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 let's go forward. You can't hang on to the past. You can't live in the past. You've got to let the past go. And this is one way we can refocus and move forward. So that's what I'm doing. So I hope you all had, like I said, a great holiday. And next week, hopefully we'll be better on the scale. Hopefully I'll be feeling better. My voice has finally come back. It's not completely there, but it's almost there. So at least people can hear me now and I'm not sounding like Mickey Mouse. Dear Lord. <laughs> All right, guys. I will see you guys next week. I'll do a quick check-in and um, we'll see where we're at. I hope y'all have a great one. I'll talk to y'all later. Love you guys. Bye.